Flow DDE is a dynamic data exchange server, an easy connection between Windows applications and Bronckhorst digital instruments. DDE provides a basic level of inter-process communication between Windows applications. By using DDE commands sent by software to Flow DDE, data can be sent to or requested from digital instruments. Flow DDE handles all communication to the instrument and provides the data to applications. Several Bronckhorst applications require Flow DDE for communication to the instrument, for example, Flow View and Flow Plot. The installation file can be found on the CD ROM which is delivered with the instruments, or can be downloaded from our website, bronckhorst.com. After the Flow DDE application has been installed, the manual is available via Start, All Programs, Bronckhorst, Manuals. The RS-232 interface on a digital instrument can be connected to any RS-232 serial computer port. On the sub-D9 lab style or 8-DIN industrial style connector of the instrument, TX and RX are available on pin 1 and pin 6. In this example, the instrument is connected via a USB to RS-232 converter to the computer and powered with a plug-in power supply. This power supply is not required if the instrument is already powered via an optional field bus connection, such as Flowbus, Modbus or DeviceNet. During installation, two Flow DDE servers will be installed, Flow DDE and Flow DDE Second. Each Flow DDE server can independently communicate with an RS-232 based instrument or a Flowbus system, consisting of one or more instruments with Flowbus interface. Before communication to the instrument can be made, the communication settings have to be correctly configured. Open the communication settings from the menu. Communication, Communication Settings. In this window, the COM port and the board rate can be selected. For most interfaces, the default board rate is 38,400. Once the communication settings have been configured correctly, the communication to the instrument can be started and instrument values can be used by client applications. From the menu, click Communication, Open Communication. Now, Flow DDE makes a connection to the Flowbus interface. Once a connection is established, Flow DDE will initialize the interface when needed and scan the connected Flowbus when present. Should the Flowbus be different to a previously installed configuration, Flow DDE will show a warning. Channel numbers are assigned to all connected instruments, and for each channel, the applicable parameter DDE items are created. These parameter items are to be used by client applications. After all DDE items are created, Flow DDE starts polling parameters from the instrument or instruments. The values of these parameters are updated after each poll, so clients don't need to actively refresh these before using. From here on, Flow DDE is ready for any client. The Flow DDE window can be minimized. The DDE server remains active until the communication is closed. When communication is opened and Flow DDE has scanned the Flowbus system, the Flowbus configuration can be viewed. Flowbus configuration. On the left hand side, all instruments connected to the Flowbus are shown, ordered by their assigned channel. By clicking on a channel, the LED wink mode on the selected instrument will be activated. Communication to the instrument can be stopped via the menu. Communication, close communication. Polling is stopped, all DDE items are terminated, and clients can no longer set or get parameter values.